So finally guys, it's happening. I have got the Poco F5 base variant, which is the 8 plus 2 56 GB variant for 27,000 rupees. I got a 3,000 rupees of discount and I hope this is gonna be a good deal because with the Poco's or Xiaomi's motherboard issues, I have faced that too with my Redmi Note 10 Pro and it's been almost two plus years that I have bought a Xiaomi device. Well, this was of course the open box kind of delivery. You will see the specs right here. It shows Poco F5 5G and it shows the CPU name, which is the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 1, which is the latest processor. And we have the 120 Hertz AMOLED display and stuff with Dolby Vision. And it is of course a 5G device. It has 67 watt fast charging, 5000 mAh battery and a lot more specifications are mentioned over here like the LPDDR5 RAM and stuff, UFS 3.1 storage, all those good things. So here, let's just open the seal. And of course it was opened because of the Flipkart's open box delivery kind of system. So let's just do this. So on the box, it shows Poco like this. And here, if I just pull this out, let's keep this aside. And we have the phone right here. Let me just pull it, okay. So let's just keep the phone right here. Earlier, I have used the 33 watt Xiaomi chargers, but yeah, this is the 67 watt fast charger. And obviously you get a USB-A to Type-C port as this one has a USB-A out. I'll show you the phone, but first let me show you what else is here. We have a SIM ejector tool, shows as quick start guide, of course. So we do get a silicon case, which looks like this. I'll use it later on. Now let's switch to the device. And this is how it looks like. It comes with this plastic kind of wrap. I have ordered the white color variant, which has a frosted glass kind of effect. But yeah, let's just see. Now the color, the first impression I have to say, it is really, really sweet looking. And the white kind of color definitely is looking a lot more unique with this frosted glass kind of effect. And the back is of course plastic. As you guys should know already but yeah let's peel this plastic off i mean the sticker the cameras it has a 64 megapixel new unit and it has a 8 megapixel ultra wide and stuff and the body definitely feels awesome and the phone actually feels really really light in the hand and here we have the poco 5g branding it has a usb type c port on the bottom a dual sim slot which i'll show you later on a speaker right here but this does not have a micro SD card slot for some reason. So yeah, you will only get a dual SIM slot. But the really good thing is right now you are getting a headphone jack, which is insane. In like the Poco F4 2, there was no headphone jack, but in the Poco F5, we are getting the headphone jack back and that's just awesome. And the device definitely feels a lot more like premium in the hand, I have to say. We have the volume rockers and the power button and the fingerprints kind of speed if you're wondering. It's blazing fast, no issues. It is a side mounted fingerprint scanner, not the on display fingerprint scanner over here. Let me show you with this finger. And yeah, the fingerprint scanner speed, it's really, really fast. Now to the left of the device, there is nothing. This side is totally, totally clean. And I'm just pressing and holding the power button. Is there a, yeah, there is a kind of like screen protection, a plastic kind of screen protector is there in the screen. It is Gorilla Glass 5, I think. So the protection should be good enough. That's the boot animation of MIUI. So definitely first impressions, the display looks awesome to me at least. And the phone's body is in this kind of light color, which looks definitely beautiful. It is asking me for some permission, like the locations and diagnostic data and stuff. I'll just disable this one. Personalized ads, I'll turn it off. Automatically update, I'll turn it off. User experience program. So seems like there is already a new update which I'll do later. So we have some bloatwares like the Git apps and stuff, the Opera browser, these are the bloatware. And let me show you. Okay, so these are the apps which are present. Yes, there are a lot of bloatwares, but I'll try to disable them later. But first of all, let me show you in the settings, how it looks in the about section. We have the MIUI version as 14.0.1 and we have the Android version as Android 13 out of the box. And as far as I know, it will get two years of Android updates and three years of security updates. So right now it is on Android 13 and it will go up to Android 15 and it will get three years of security update. So take it how 
you can and we have the security patch right here of march i guess no and here this is the 14.03 miui about 277 mb i'll just try to update it but overall i would say yes my overall experience i'll daily drive on this particular device i'll put my sim card and stuff and i'll tell you guys my impressions of this let's just take a quick selfie so right out of the box this is how it looks like it is a lot more overexposed the background i mean but yeah overall the selfie quality seems really nice not gonna lie so yeah pretty much overall i would say the camera quality and stuff should be decent so that's pretty much it about the unboxing guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and please share this video if you want to your friends to see the poco f5 5g's unboxing video and what you get in the retail unit and stuff stay tuned until next one this is tito from kd index signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one